The fur flies, the paws scamper, the handler and dog are poetry in motion. A jump, a tire, a jump, the weave pulls. No toys, no treats, no touch. The dog reads his handler like an open book. They gesture, they point, they call the next obstacle. They run together, linked by some imaginary tether. Started in the late 1970s in the United Kingdom, dog agility has grown into a sport with major competitions held worldwide. In the United States, it has become a popular competition sport among dog enthusiasts and those simply looking to do something active and fun with their canine companions. I do dog agility because I enjoy working with my dogs, I enjoy playing with my dogs, I enjoy teaching my dogs and watching them learn. And I get a big charge out of seeing them accomplish awesome things with my help. Dogs of any size and breed can compete, and trials are judged on number of faults and speed of the run. Before a competition, the handlers will be allowed to walk the course and determine which techniques will best communicate the next obstacle for the dog to take, often at breakneck speed. Trust is a key component for this competition. A bond unlike any other is formed between dog and handler. It's fun for both of us. And we are both working towards a common goal. We have to pay attention to each other. And without that, it doesn't work. The eye contact and the body language. I have to read him, he has to read me. And at the end of the day, we're closer to each other for it and we both had a good workout and we've had fun. There is joy in this competition. From the vocal Australian Shepherd to the sprightly Jack Russell, that joy is as unmistakable as the tales on the competition waiting eagerly at the sidelines. Well, you get the picture.